Hey guys, this is Chili's Fever 9 here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys an OP Bloodhounds Fang build. In these first few clips, is me fighting bosses with the build. Don't mind my inability to fight, and I hope you guys enjoy. When starting this build, you want to have at least 15 Faith, 18 Strength, and 17 Dexterity. Having 13 into mine makes using our buffs easier. We are using a plus 10 Bloodhound's Fang. It has a base of 55 Blood Loss buildup. We are also using a Dagger with the Golden Vow Ash of War that increases damage by 15% and gives all damage negation by 10%. We are using the Finger Seal to cast our incantations and the great turtle shell for extra stamina regeneration. For armor we have the white mask that increases attack power by 10% for 20 seconds after a bleed proc and the raptor's black feathers which increases our jump attack damage by 10%. We got the claw talisman that increases our jump attack damage by 15%. The ritual sword talisman that increases attack power by 10% when HP is at max. The Lord of Blood's Exaltation that raises attack power by 20% for 20 seconds after a bleed proc. And the Shard of Alexander that increases attack power of skills by 15%. And for the flash we got the Dexterity Not Crystal tier that boosts Dexterity by 10 points. And the Stone Barb Crack tier that increases stance damage by 30%. For incantations we are using the Blood Flame Blade that does fire damage and does 40 bleed over 2 seconds and flame grant me strength that increases physical damage by 20%, fire damage by 20%, and stamina recovery speed by 11%. To use all our buffs, we first use the golden vow, then flame grant me strength, then switch to the bloodhound's fang and put the blood flame on it. Switch to the turtle shield and use two hands on the bloodhound's fang. And don't forget to drink the flask. That's going to be it for the, today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope it helped you. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.